As you probably know, there is a lot of extra CO2 in our atmosphere right now, higher levels than at any time in the past 400,000 years because of burning fossil fuels. Now, a bunch of it just hangs out in the atmosphere for a long, long time, heating our planet by creating a giant greenhouse. Some of it is taken up by plants through photosynthesis. Thank you, trees. A huge amount of it is consumed by the ocean. Oceans absorb 30 to 50% of the CO2 produced by burning fossil fuels. Without our oceans, global warming would have already made the planet a lot warmer. How exactly does the ocean do this? First, through basic chemistry. Wait, wait, wait. It's just carbon dioxide dissolves in water. So H2O plus CO2 equals H2CO3. This is carbonic acid, which breaks apart and reforms as bicarbonate which is stored in shells and bones of marine organisms. Whew. The other way the ocean eats CO2 is through photosynthesis by phytoplankton. Now, these are microscopic plant-like organisms. They generate about half the oxygen in the atmosphere. That's right. As much per year as all plants on land. Every time you breathe in, you should probably thank phytoplankton. But of course, there is a limit to how much CO2 the ocean can take in. And we are already seeing the consequences of a warmer and very different chemistry-based ocean thanks to the CO2 that's in the atmosphere right now. But it's not too late to start the worst of the consequences. We just have to act now and with courage. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet or an email and I'll try to get it answered.